Ooh, hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Clem's Country Kitchen Cooking. Now make sure you get a real good look at these ingredients, because this is exactly what you're going to need to make these amazing hot biscuits, or like some people like to say, fresh buns out the oven. Now you're going to need your almond milk and apple cider vinegar. Don't forget to really whip them up good. Dump that two and a half cups of flour in your nice mixing bowl. That's it, just plop it right in there. And then you're gonna have to give it a nice wild whisk. Next up's your sea salt, and go ahead and add that right in. Then your baking powder, two tablespoons. Oh, don't forget your baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and one of my favorite sweeteners, monk fruit, add that one tablespoon. Next up, you're gonna add your tofu vegan sour cream, one quarter cup, mmm, gonna help make it nice. Whisk it all together, or steer it up, as I like to say. Now we got to move on to that frozen plant-based butter and grater. We're gonna go ahead and shred, 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 four tablespoons, and then we're going to set that aside. After we got it all nice and pretty, put it in a little bowl and store it in the refrigerator. Ooh, 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 everything's gonna be so moist. Moving on to that diet cheese, that vegan cheese, you're gonna need one quarter cup. Stick that right into that mixture that you've been working on. That's goodness. Mm -mm -mm. Now comes the vegan butter. Put that in there with the rest of it. Now we getting there done. Don't forget your six tablespoons of chilled coconut oil. You're gonna have to slice it up in sloppy cubes. And once you do, you're gonna set it aside so it can soften a little bit and then you will add it to the rest of your moist ingredients. Here we go, slide it right in and lubricate your buns. Okay, plop it into the mixer. Start whisking it all together again till it gets nitty gritty. Now comes that vegan buttermilk mix that you did earlier. Just pour it right in there and make that lovely mixture even more moist. You're gonna be getting your hands on in there and you're gonna have some fun massaging your dough. So once you get it just right, you'll squeeze it up and squeeze it and push down and squeeze and then you're gonna make it into this beautiful round plump little shape. Mmm, it's gonna get so much better from here. Ain't this one bun of fun? Don't forget to dust your surface with some extra flour and then you're going to just plop your biscuit down, flatten and then spread it and fold it until it's got a nice consistency and texture. Here we go. We're gonna take a mason jar to roll this out. It's kind of fun and we can use the lid later because we're gonna take that lid after we spread this out nice and thick and we're gonna use the lid to cut our buns. Okay, we get near the end of the preparation. Pretty soon we're gonna just stick them all in a pan after we cut them out, put them side by side close together. You get a better rise that way and you will enjoy these biscuits when they come out the oven fresh and hot. Here we go. Don't forget, 425 between 10 to 12 minutes, you got to keep your eye on them. And there we have it. Ain't they looking good, nice and rised and thick? It's time to enjoy. Put some butter and jam on there and serve those biscuits up hot and steamy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Happy appetite.